Today I have a very exciting transformation that I'm gonna try to recreate which is Song Jia's look in Singles Inferno so I've been really hooked onto the show and I really like her she is number one really beautiful she looks like Jenny the best thing is she is so unapologetically sassy you know when I watch this kind of dating shows like pretty girls don't get hype from other girls but for her it's a very different story today we're just gonna recreate her look as you guys can see I am also dressed in somewhat like similar to her look on the first day where she stepped into the Inferno Island I'm gonna insert a picture over here she also likes to do her hair in an egglet roll like a mermaid wave so I think that's what I'm gonna be recreating her signature small face plump lip wavy hair without further ado let's get started first thing I'm gonna just prop my head up with this so I'm gonna look like this the whole video <laughs> so starting off with the skin she has really nice bright fair skin I think her skin is just super flawless with that I'm going in with my flawless looking foundation that is kind of semi-matte because I noticed that she doesn't use a lot of like glowy skin products as well so this is Burberry's matte glow foundation I'm in the shade 40 my face is now pretty flawless like my complexion next up I'm going to try to recreate her small cute face so her face is actually really nice and round I have to kind of like contour a little bit Fenty Beauty matchsticks in mocha so I'm just gonna go around and kind of carve out a little bit of a rounded shape and also on my chin and her face is really small so I'm just going around the sides of the face as well using a sponge so compared to me she's got a really nice full cheeks I'm going in with two concealers the first one is my L'Oreal infallible full wear using a small concealer brush I'm just going to kind of further accentuate some of the points like her cheeks her nose bridge is really narrow so that's what I'm gonna do and now with Smashbox, I'm going in with a lighter colour, this is light warm golden to just highlight my under eyes so you can see my face shape has kind of become a lot more like round and full Contour time, I'm using Etude's Contour Powder This one is in the shade 02 Inventor Just going to go around the sides of my face with a lighter shade Same areas that I contoured just now And I'm gonna use Matchstick to do the nose Apply a little bit of shadow around here to just shorten this area Now for her brows, she has like a really sad puppy eyebrow it's mostly quite bushy at the front her brows are relatively thin and I can't really do much about my brows because they're naturally really thick so I'm just gonna follow the shape benefits precisely my brow you want something with really precise tips at the end and her brows are kind of like downwards and it's all the way out quite close to the end of her face and you want to draw a few more strokes at the front I'm also going to be using a brow colour corrector So this one's from Etude, it's the brow volumizer This is in the shade red brown, number 4 For her eyes, she really likes to go in with pretty natural colours I would say I'm just looking at um, her first day, she's using mostly this kind of brownish shades So I'm just using my Roman Better Than Palette in Mahogany Garden Putting this colour all the way in the base And then following up with this shade over here And a little bit of soft surf from my One Size Palette So she's got something like a little cat she likes to kind of wing it out so that's what I'm gonna be doing at the ends push the eyeshadows outwards and upwards so you also want to join the lower lash line with the same shade and I'm just taking a smaller brush 
So for her eyeliner, I find that she is using kind of like a dark brown gel liner for all across her eyes. So this one is from Gucci and I'm just going to line my eyes as I normally would all the way to where it ends and it kind of goes downwards. Once it reaches the end of her eyes, she likes to kind of wing it outwards and upwards. I'm going to use my MAC Lisa eyeliner. Notice that she has like cat eyes, so I'm going to use the eyeliner to go in the inner corners like this and kind of point it downwards a little. Next up, let's go in with a darker brown and line the bottom lash line. Apply your mascara on your lower lashes. Gonna be drawing my lower lashes. Her lashes are pretty straightforward. Time for Ego Sal. Her Ego Sal is a little bit wider at the front and it just like kind of ends in the middle. I'm gonna go in with a small little brush and concealer to clean up the area in front of the area cell before applying some glitter. My glitter here from my Roman palette. Blush time, I've got two. The first one is my NARS in Behave. She likes to apply her blush kind of like on the outside. And she goes quite heavy handed with it. Now with my MAC. Not forgetting highlighter. So I'm gonna use a sheen highlight kind of in the center of the cheeks, forehead, all across the chin, nose. Now time to contour the lips. So she has her iconic, iconic plump juicy lips. So I'm just going to take a little bit of contour and just contour the top half of my lips. As well as the bottom part. And then I'm gonna first start with a matte lip color, something like this. This is the Maybelline Marvel in 210 Versatile. So I'm gonna overfill my lips like crazy. I also noticed that her lips, right, kind of point downwards, and her bottom lip is actually fuller than her top lip. She also has a really obvious, I don't know what you call this, like this triangle bit here. So we're gonna recreate that later on. So she also has a little bit of a lift at the top of her lips. This is my pillow top eyeliner but I'm gonna be using on my lips to kind of draw this little upward wing. I'm also using the same eyeliner to kind of accentuate this part here that she has. I'm gonna use concealer to just clean up. She's got her iconic juicy lips. So I've got my lip gloss. This is Fenty's uh, Diamond Milk Gloss Balm. So this one is very, very high shine. And I'm just gonna apply it in the middle. This makeup look is done. I'm gonna go put on my contacts and I'll be back. All right, it's now time for her hair. I am gonna be doing Iconic Mermaid Waves. So I've got two hair tools that I am gonna be using. This is the Nova's, they call it Tan Chuan, like Igglet Roll. This one I believe is 32 mm. So I'm gonna split my hair into half. So I'm heating it up to about 160 degrees C. First, we want to just kind of curl this inwards. Have a little like a C curl. Then we'll go in with this. So her curls are usually very tight. And so we are going to kind of start with quite small chunks. And we're just going to hold for like five seconds push it up and do the next section, like so. So you just repeat this for the rest of your hair and pretty much it. Let's come back when we're at 
the crown. Okay, so now we're at the crown of the head. Let's take out our clip. Ta da! So because I put it on for a while, I have this like natural kink going on. I'm just going to continue curling, but try not to push it down too much. So just continue curling like this. This is my completed Song Jia inspired makeup look. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and join the fam. Leave me in the comments box down below who you want me to transform to next and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!